The 53rd annual Upper Peninsula Championship Rodeo will not take place in Iron River next month due to COVID-19. TV6's Mike Ludlam turns the clock back 20 years to see some of the action from the 33rd annual in 2000. Kansas, and I want to remind everybody, stay back away from the fence. You might get hurt if you're not careful. Fans at the UP Championship Rodeo this year had a special honor. They had a chance to see the Linderman Award winner, which covers overall events on the Great Lakes Rodeo Circuit. It's an award that the PRCA gives out to the cowboy who wins the most money in at least three events. And they have to be at least one timed event and one rough stock event. Whitaker did not disappoint. He won the steer rustling and the saddle bronc riding and had high finishes in calf roping and bareback riding. One local cowboy, Jim Storty of Iron River, had a tough draw in bull riding. And didn't quite make, make the eight, but tried real hard. He just got me kind of changed up. Thought he was going one way and I dove in and kind of cheated him Thought he, when he went the other way and he Turned and went the wrong way. Overguessed him, I guess. There's only about one out of every hundred animals that you try will actually make a, a bucking horse or a bucking bull that's good enough to take on the road. So, you know, the odds of getting a good one are very slim. Mike Ludlum, TV6 Sports, Iron River. Michigan High School basketball standout Imani Bates has committed to play at Michigan State University for the class of 2022. Bates announced his decision today on ESPN to play for the Spartans and coach Tom Izzo. In April, the six foot nine guard was named Gatorade's National Player of the Year, the first sophomore to win the award. He averaged 32 points this year, but missed his chance to help Ypsilanti repeat as state champions due to the coronavirus pandemic. Bates told ESPN the Spartans have recruited him since he was in the seventh grade.